Okay, here goes with the uh, compass little run through what you'll be doing with the kiddos. Uh, this will be in your kit. You'll start, you'll pull the nail out. So to make the compass work, we're going to use one end of a bar magnet. So that's why this is taped off. So if you use the metal end or if kids use the metal end, you just use that side and then you swipe and then put it back and swipe, put it back. So you do not go back and forth. It's just this. And what's happening is that the strong magnet is taking the iron atoms and aligning them. And when enough atoms are aligned, it becomes magnetic. So if you did this hundreds of times, it would become a much more strong magnet because like every time this is just doing a little. Um, but you could turn it into, you know, a magnet that could pick up paper clips and such. So anyway, there's that. Once you've charged your magnet, and in all honesty, it will probably be charged before. So you can just tell the kids this is an ordinary nail and then go ahead and do the thing. This is our little float. It's pink housing insulation foam. I had a bunch of it from some art projects. Uh, there's a hole in each one, so you can put it in the hole. Balance is a little bit of a something, but so what's happening? There's a couple of things happening. <laughs> there's a, I left the magnet here. <laughs> So that's why it like shot over there. So if you wanted to show the kids directly how it works, and it'd be interesting because you look at polarity, you can push it and whatnot. But I'm going to take the magnet further away. Other magnetic nails and the cell phones for magnet or the magnets and cell phones could affect it. So uh, I'll slide this a little forward for more balance. So I know in my house, I think north is something like this. So get a camera app real quick. Like I said, balance is a bit of a thing, but if it's a big problem, what you can actually do, there's a little groove I put on there so you could just rest the nail on it. Wind might be a problem when you do this. So we might include some saran wrap and just nudge it to the middle. So it can do its thing. Um, I'm looking up my uh, compass. Okay. Looks like there's a magnet around here somewhere. All right, sorry this is taking so long. What the heck? I'd say that's pretty good. North? Yeah. So there we go. And so you could demonstrate to the kiddos, like if I bump it, I'm probably not bumping it that much. Um, but it is, I mean, that's a pretty good turnabout. And then it will overshoot because of momentum. It's something you could mention. Um, but it should run pretty good. It's a little finicky. I'm sure you'll adapt. One of the things to remember is like, sometimes we feel the pressure, like, oh, we got to get this project right and stuff. Um, there's so much you can do when you're honest with the kiddos. Like if it isn't working, like that's a lesson. So you don't have to freak out about it. Um, and just like your primary thing is to be there with the kiddos and you can just say, oh, this isn't working. And then maybe turn that into a mini lesson. like. It's so windy, how do you think that affects the magnet? Or why is the wind stopping it? So you could even turn those into educational moments. So it's 12 degrees off, but not bad. All right, I'll stop talking. Um, <laughs> if you have more questions, let me know. Be happy to answer them. Um, and this one's a little long-winded and I don't have time for editing. So 
Enjoy. Thanks for hanging in there. Bye.